Get out your fall crafting supplies and let's make these cute fall DIY projects. Hello everyone, if you guys are new, my name's Liz. For today's video, I have some really fun fall DIYs for you. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into our first DIY. For this DIY, you are going to take a foam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a DIY using some fabric. These are leftover strips that I had from my fabric DIY video. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below. But I did an entire video doing DIYs using fabric and I had these strips left over. So instead of wasting them, I thought of another DIY that I could do with them. So I just took those strips that I had and I'm just cutting them down into small pieces. Pieces. I'm going to remove that stem from the pumpkin and what I'm going to do is you can take some scissors or the back of a paintbrush. You're going to start poking holes into your pumpkin and then you are going to take that piece of fabric, lay it over on top of that hole, take the back of your paintbrush and push that fabric down into the hole. And you are just going to repeat these steps over and over and over until you are covering the entire pumpkin. I will warn you, this does take a little bit, so turn on a good movie, a show, an audiobook, and you are just gonna repeat these steps until your pumpkin is fully covered. Like I said, you can even take some scissors and cut a bunch of holes in the pumpkin and then take your material and push your material into the holes using the back of a paintbrush. And that's all you got to do to cover up your entire pumpkin. So just continue this over and over and over until you have it all the way covered up. I didn't worry about covering up the very bottom of my pumpkin just because you wouldn't see it and I wanted the pumpkin to sit flat. So I did not do this on the very bottom of the pumpkin. I just did it just enough so that when it was sitting on a shelf, you wouldn't be able to see the orange on the bottom. Next, I'm gonna take this little wooden stem that comes in a pack from Dollar Tree, some wired jute that also comes from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue this to the middle of my pumpkin. I took a couple pieces of ribbon. This orange one was wired, and I wanted it to be a little thinner, so I just cut off those ends, and then I'm going to take it and tie a really simple shoelace bow with it. I'm going to hot glue that to the front of my stem and then I'm going to also do the same thing with some lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Hot glue that right on top of the other bow and that is it for this DIY. I love this color combination so much and it's going to match the other fabric pumpkins that I made and a fabric garland. Like I said, if you want to check that video out, I will leave it linked down below, but I thought this one turned out so much fun. For this DIY, I took this wooden plaque sign that you can get from Walmart. I want to say it was around five or so dollars. It was quite a while ago that I purchased it, so I don't exactly remember the price of it, but it was fairly affordable. And I'm going to start out by putting a layer of surface wax from Choc Couture on top of it because I am going to be using this month's Choc Couture's Club Couture transfer. This is the monthly transfer for the month of September, and I thought this was so pretty. And as soon as I saw this, I had a vision for it. So I'm going to start by fuzzing the back of the transfer, centering it onto my sign, and I'm going to be using the colors rust and the shimmer harvest and some black now I like to do my transfers in sections especially when I'm going a lot slower so I'll just take my squeegee and do a little section I'll pull the transfer up to make sure that it's not going to dry onto the transfer itself and that it actually transfers through and I'll just repeat this step over the entire transfer so if you haven't tried Choc Couture and you want to try it out I would honestly suggest their Club Couture it's a $21 a month subscription box where you get an exclusive transfer and three paste packets and you get that sent to your door every single month. And I just think it's a great way to try Choc Couture, get your feet wet, see how you like it. Another thing that I wanted to mention is their holiday collection is launching tomorrow, September 15th. 
and I am so excited for it. I've seen the lookbook and they are coming out with some gorgeous Christmas transfers that I cannot wait for. I think it's going to be so much fun. And I also wanted to mention if you want to get those transfers at 40% off, you can sign up to become a designer for only a $10 fee and be automatically enrolled and get that 40% off in time for Christmas. So as a designer, you always get 40% off all of your purchases. So if you're looking for a cheaper way to purchase Chocotour, definitely sign up as a designer and you can get that discount if you ever have any questions about it. I've had a ton of people reach out to me about it lately, so you can either DM me on Facebook, Instagram, you can send me an email. I'll leave that linked down below, but I know a ton of people are interested in getting that 40% off. So if you have any questions about becoming a designer and what all it entails, definitely message me. I'll also leave a frequently asked page for Chocotour's designer down below so that you can check it out and you can sign up and get that 40% off just in time for tomorrow's launch. So once I am done chalking my transfer, I'm going to make sure that I wash it so I can use it again in the future. I have these cute little wheat picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I am just cutting off a couple of the stems and then hot gluing them to the top of my sign. I thought these were so pretty and I thought that it matched so well with this transfer. And then I just made a really simple burlap bow out of some burlap ribbon from burlapfabric.com. And I'm just gonna hot glue that to the middle of my wheat picks and that's it for this DIY. I think this turned out so pretty. I love the orange and the yellow and the black and the rustic sign behind it. This one is one of my favorites and it was so, so easy to make. For this DIY, I'm going to take some scrapbook paper. This is paper off of my website, moredecalanddecor.com. Also, these chipboard fall phrases that are also available on my website, moredecalanddecor.com. And I'm going to use these to make a cute little sign. I took this round piece that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I want to say it was about $3. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then using a glue stick, I'm going to glue it to the front of my sign. You can also take your exacto knife and trim off any excess pieces that are hanging off the sides. I'm going to take my chipboard phrases and I'm going to use the one that says fall and has the cute little flower next to it. You just punch it out of that little chipboard backing. And then I have this mesh ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut that out and then I'm also going to take a wooden pumpkin. I got this in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to use my golden sunset paint to paint the pumpkin. And then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in truffle to paint this stem. I'm going to do some details around the pumpkin and while the paint is still wet I'm just layering these colors on top of each other. I do the brown and then the yellow back on top of it and I just keep doing this back and forth until I have it the way I like it. And then I'm going to take my staple gun and staple the ribbon to the back of the sign. I didn't use hot glue just because there are so many holes and it would have been difficult to hot glue so the staple worked perfectly to get this nice and tight around this round sign and then I'm going to take my pumpkin I'm going to hot glue that down first and I'm just going to hot glue that to the side and then my fall piece I'm going to hot glue that right on top of the pumpkin and the ribbon and then to finish it off I'm going to take a flower that I got from Michael's and I'm just going to hot glue that to the top and that is it for this DIY I think this turned out so cute I love layering things all on top of each other and I just think this one turned out adorable.
For this DIY, I took two of these little round cutting boards that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $4, but on sale half off. So I got them $2 a piece. And I'm going to start by painting one of them with my Waverly chalk paint in white and the other with my Dixie Belle chalk paint in vintage duck egg. I am going to give these a coat of wax because I'm going to be using a chalk couture transfer. I personally find that my transfers always turn out better when I use the wax. My image doesn't bleed and that's just what I have found personally. You don't necessarily have to do this, but anytime I'm using a porous surface like these bamboo cutting boards, I make sure to wax them so I don't have any issues. I'm going to take this transfer from Chocotour. I'm going to do the leaves on one cutting board and the words on the other. So I'm just taking some washi tape and covering up where those words are at at the top just so that I don't accidentally get any paste on them and have, you know, the words on that cutting board, which I did not want. And I'm just taking my chalk paste in rust and going over all of the leaves and then I will just pull that up and then I'll lay the transfer back down onto my other cutting board and I'm just centering the words onto it. Now my camera turned off so you're not going to see me put the paste on there but you can see the reveal and I think it turned out so cute. All I'm going to do to finish it is put the little hangers back through the holes at the top. I was thinking about adding some beads or doing something else with it, but I decided to just keep this one really simple, but I love that these two coordinate and go really well together. I think they turned out adorable and I love that it just took one transfer to make both of these pieces. There's always so many different ways that you can use a chocolate transfer and I just think this one turned out so cute. For this DIY, I'm going to take some fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby, a round sign that I got from the Target dollar spot, and I'm going to start by adding my round on top of my piece of fabric, and I'm just going to roughly cut that fabric out around it. I'll add some Mod Podge onto the back, making sure that I'm covering the entire back with that Mod Podge, and then I'll layer my fabric on top of there and I'll set it to the side to dry. Next, I'm gonna take this little round plaque that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I gave this two coats of my Waverly chalk paint in white. You wanna make sure that you add your wood filler before you paint it. I forgot to do that, so I added my wood filler afterwards, and then you can just sand it down and repaint over that later. Now, I'm gonna take some of this felt that I picked up in a pack from Amazon, I loved this pack because it had a ton of fall colors in it, which I thought was so much fun. And I'm going to cut out little petals using my scissors, and I'm just trying to make sure that I get each petal about the same size. And you're going to cut out as many petals as it takes to go around that smaller circle. And I'm going to fold the bottom just in an accordion style fold. You're going to do some hot glue on four different folds and you'll squeeze the bottom so you make that petal shape. And you're just going to do this for all of your petals and like I said, as many as it takes to go around that white circle. Once you have your petals all done, I set those to the side and I wanted my middle piece to look a little bit more like a flower middle. So I'm gonna take a natural hair stencil brush and my Waverly Wax and Antique and I'm just kind of dry brushing up and down dabbing motions onto the middle of my flower. I didn't want this to be super saturated so I just went over this with several light stippling layers. Once my sign and fabric is dry, I'm gonna go around the entire thing and cut off all the excess material and then I'm going to hot glue my middle of my flower down to the middle of my sign and then you're going to take your flower petals and hot glue them all around your flower. I ran out of one of these reds so I have a couple pieces of darker reds throughout it so I you know kind of mixed up the colors a little bit. You can't really tell they're super close together but 
I thought this turned out really cute with the two different flower petal colors. And like I said, I just went around the entire thing until all of my petals were on my sign. And then I took some of this rope from the Dollar Tree and I decided I needed to kind of blend in my petals into the middle of the flower. So I just took that rope and hot glued it all the way around that flower middle. And then to finish off, I have some of this yellow trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just made a super simple bow with it, hot glued it where those two pieces of rope met. And that is it for this DIY. I think this is so cute and so much fun. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which project was your favorite in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!